Hello, hello. It's Kenny Evans. We got another car video again. And this topic is going to be on what to do if your girl cheats on you. You know, it's a very interesting topic, another popular topic. Obviously, nobody likes being cheated on. But obviously, how you handle being cheated on will determine your happiness as well as if the girl comes back to you. So handling this situation is very, very important. So that being said, um, when it comes to your girl cheating on you, and I got this from Corey Wayne, universal technique, you know, anybody could use it and should use it because it gives them peace, gives you peace. But now to get back into it. So whenever your girl cheats on you, what you should do is say, you broke the rules of our relationship and you cheated on me. I do not like the fact that you cheated on me. And I do not want to be in a relationship with somebody who cheated on me. And with that, you could go and do what you want. Go be with that man or whatever, do what you want, because I don't want to be in a relationship with you. But whenever you are single and ready to be committed to me, come back to me. And if I am still single and wanting to be committed to you, I will consider it. And that is so powerful because you tell a woman that you are not needy for her. You tell a woman that you are not desperate for her. You tell a woman that you are willing to be happy over being with her. And that's the reason that's so powerful. So she goes and does her thing. She's looking for her happiness and you do it as well. But the key is you go no contact after this. You guys go your separate ways. And if she never comes back to you, good. It means she wasn't that interested. And it's more reason for you to move on. But you have to go no contact. You never contact her again. There's no 30 day. There's no, you know, never contact her again. You know. And then if she does contact you again, then you have special rules. You know, Corey Wayne, he's come up with these seven steps. I'm going to kind of just go overlay. But of course, it's all up to you. What do you want? When a woman comes back to you after she did you wrong, she cheated on you. What do you want? That's pretty much where we'll go. And if she does not go follow those rules, you let her go and you move on and get other women. Obviously, if she's coming back, ideally, you would have been dating other women and sleeping with other women. You know, and, and you're not focused on her and she comes back out of the blue, you know, but when it comes to those rules, like I said, it's really up to you, whatever you choose, but Cora Wayne's, I'm going to just paraphrase a little bit. Essentially, you are going to invite that girl over to your place three times in a row. And you're not going to spend any money. You're not going to do anything for her. Except have sex. That'll be all you guys will be doing. Or maybe if she, you want her to bring some food. And you guys could cook at your place. You do that. But you're not going to leave your house. You're not going to spend any money. She's going to put all the effort. You do that three nights in a row or three three times. And then if you want, 
you guys could start going out again. But still, she will have um, to abide by 100% cooperation. Things will be different than they were before. Because she cheated on you because you were not a strong man. You were weak. You were beta. And that's the reason she cheated on you. So now, your mindset has sh shifted. You've gotten other women. You've had space. You've hopefully learned how to be stronger, more confident man. And then now you're going to be more of a leader. And that's the reason you're going to have her come over to your place to see if she's going to be willing to follow your lead. Because, of course, she may take you as the man you were before, you know, she cheated on you. And she may not take you seriously. But again, if she does not follow your lead and if she, if she does not give you 100% cooperation, you cut her off and you let her go and move on. And the beauty about all this is she comes to you. You don't have to be calling her, hitting her up, groveling. She comes to you. So you know if she's coming back to you, she still has at least a five interest in you still. And she is willing to work on your terms. She, whether she does or not, it depends. But she's at least open and willing to. Because like I said, you told her to come back when she is ready to be in a committed relationship with you. And again, you always have to hold that frame and keep that in mind. And that's where you make up your rules when it comes to dating and getting back together. But of course, you are not just going to jump back into a relationship with her just because she came back to you. Again, granted, you have other women that you're dealing with. Or even if you don't, you still have to better to make sure she is willing to cooperate with you 100%. And if she's not, move on. This is where you become the leader and become the man in the relationship. And you have to take that seriously. Because if you don't, and you backtrack to how you were before she cheated on you, she's just going to cheat on you again. If not, just cheat. She'll leave you. So that's why it's very important that you become the man and the leader and a strong man in the relationship. Or else everything will just go back to how it was before. And obviously you don't want that. You know. And of course... If you don't want the woman, you can just let her go. Say, no, she could come back to you. Say, no, um, yeah, I'm not interested anymore. I've moved on. You know, I appreciate you reaching out, but it's just not going to work for me. You know, but I wish you nothing but the best and hope you have a great life. That's always an option. <laughs> that is always an option as well. If you are not interested in her. You got to understand. And you should always carry this mindset forward for the rest of your life. You are the man. And you are a strong man. You're a dominant man. You're a leader. You know, you're a ladies man. So you always have to keep in mind what you want comes first. Because when you were with that woman, you didn't keep that in mind. And therefore, she disrespected you and cheated on you. So you always got to keep in mind what you want comes first. And find women who will cooperate with you and follow you. And of course, if they don't, cut them off. And you always got to have the mindset that 
there will be other women out there and you will be all right. Don't ever stress over a woman who is not treating you well or who is not following your lead. They're not worth it. Women don't want to be the leader. They don't want to be the leader, trust me. It's too much stress. And naturally, you don't want a woman who, 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 who will lead you too because you will be miserable. Happy wife, happy life is, is bullshit. It's not true. Look at the look at all the marriages and relationships where women are leading. The woman is miserable because she's more in her masculine as a, as the leader, and the man is miserable because he's more in his feminine as a follower. It's not natural. It's not natural, and that's the reason most men and women are not comfortable or happy in those kind of relationships. So be the leader. Be a strong man, focus on what you want, and then you will find women who will follow your lead. It's all very simple. It really is. You know what I mean? Being women is very, very simple. It's very, very easy. You just have to believe it is. You can only focus on the women who, who follow your lead and who respect you, and obviously who you find attractive. You know, so that's all I got for y'all today. You know, I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Obviously, I want to know what you guys think about it. You know, give me your opinions. You know, and uh, if you really enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that uh, notification button. You know, so whenever I load some more videos, you'll be up to date and notified when I when 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 they're out. And of course. If you'd like to support me, uh, donate. I appreciate all donations. I appreciate the watches, comments, subscribes, everything, and likes. So I hope y'all are um, being well and um, working to be the best you can be during this time. And until next week, peace.